You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video. And by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome back to CES Live coverage here. It's 2015. Already. The floor is up. I know, how did that happen? I, it seems like just yesterday that we were right like last here week, yeah. last year. But that is not the case. It is 2015. I'm Callie Lewis. I am Phil Nickinson. <laughs> and we have Nigel from HTC here. Welcome. Hi, thank you very much for having me. It's exciting to be here. Yes, today is all about mobile. And of course, HTC has a huge name in the mobile space. So I see all sorts of goodies that you're about to show us. You've brought toys. We have a few I like to toys. We have a few toys here, yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, 2014 has been a really, really exciting year at HTC. A lot of happy faces in the in the company. You know, we've had a, there's no hiding. Had a, had a couple of years where we really kind of had to uh, had to reinvent ourselves a little bit. We're getting beaten up by the deep pockets of two of our biggest uh, competitors. So uh, our focus has been on innovation, where it always has been, and bringing out some new and exciting products into the marketplace. Specifically, some of the value tier uh, categories and devices we launched last year with AT&T and with with Sprint and Verizon are really seeing some traction in the marketplace. So yeah, 2014, the end of 2014 has been super exciting and we're looking forward to 2015 for sure. So are we. Very much so. So <laughs> where do you want to start? You want to start with the phones? Do you want to start with, with this little guy? Where do you want to go? I think, well, I mean, um, you know, I'd say a quick quick nod to, uh, to the HTC One uh, M8 super successful product for HTC in 2014. We always tend to start start the year with our, with our flagship launch. This came out at end of March, beginning of April last year across all carriers. Mm -hmm. Very, very successful device. Won a whole bunch of awards, still winning awards deep into the year. Sometimes we've got the tech press loving us at the time of launch, maybe not always six months later. This was still winning Tech Radar's best phone of the year you know, in, in January, August timing as well. So this really carried some momentum for HTC's flagship into into deep into 2014. So that was a great, great product. And for anybody who's not familiar with it, uh, tell us a little bit about it. Uh, all aluminum unibody. So I think our designers are up there with the very best in the industry. Rock solid product, you know, we're not putting a piece of plastic, sticking a piece of plastic on the back and a piece of plastic on the front and kind of building anything that's light, lightweight and, and flimsy. This really is a rock solid device. You can. You can twist this all over the show, and it's super, super strong. A high attention to detail on the on the aluminum body, really machined out of a solid block of, block of aluminum. We we brought the duo camera on the back as well, so it allows a a, mm -hmm. a range of post capture uh, photography effects as well. So if you're really into your photography, take your photos with an HTC One, and you get another dimension when you post those things online. Yeah. One real important innovation that we launched with the HTC One M7 was the dual front facing speakers. You know, it seems like a no-brainer. Right. We, we took that, we owned it, and it's become one of our iconic kind of features when you see one an HTC product on yeah. shelf and you see these two perforated speaker areas. It's like, it's very clear. That's I have HTC to say, I, I have to say I really like that because, <laughs> okay, I'll admit it. I, when I'm getting ready in the morning in a hotel room, getting ready for CES, you know, we've got a bunch of interviews, hard day ahead. I listen to some music, get You're myself going, base, right? right? I'm all about that base. <laughs> yeah. I'm for curly over here. Come right. On. Come on. Um, it changes the way I, it, cha it changes the way I use that phone. Absolutely. It does. Yeah, it does. I'm always like flipping phones over to get the best sound, and if I don't have a Bluetooth speaker on mm -hmm. me, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta think about the audio on fo on yeah. a lot of phones, yeah. whereas with that you and, don't have to. And we're seeing it from the, from the research that's been done out in the marketplace that there's a higher percentage of HTC people using their phones for music. And we think a yes. lot of that is attributable to the focus that we've given music on our devices. So yeah, super cool. All right, I see other phones. What's this phone? Or yeah. is it really just a display for? I think really it's, uh, it's kind of a display. So in, uh, in New York, about three or four months ago, we launched, uh, we launched two devices, the HTC, the HTC I, Desire Eye. But interestingly, we launched this little, this little device. Uh, pretty cute shape, a little bit like a pipe. Some say it's like an inhaler. Actually, it's. A, I think it, it looks like a submarine. Um, uh, a periscope, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's a little bit like that for sure. Um, but this is a viewfinderless um, imaging mm -hmm. device, a camera. We yes. call it the HTC Re. Um, when I first tell people, hey, I'm going to give you a camera that hasn't got a viewfinder on it, people are like, huh? 
is he for real? <laughs> when I start to tell you that one, you can get a little app on your phone and you can have a live viewfinder if you want it, but two, most importantly, hey, just take some chances in life, guys. Be a little bit random, just pick <laughs> it up. It's 146 degrees, wide angle lens, and you start to get, once you use play with it for a few minutes, yeah. you start to get a sense that, hey, if I hold this up here and take a picture, I know. Yep pretty safe bet I'm gonna get both of you and yes. a whole bunch of other stuff in that shot well, as and well so and you know cool. a lot of uh, cameras that have viewfinders are also offering apps on phones so that you can see them while like if you have them on a tripod or something yes, like that so exactly. it's becoming exactly. a normal way to live and I've been I mean the thing that one of the, the stories we tell with this is that I've done it myself I've been at my daughter's birthday party and, I've, and I haven't, re I've, 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 we finished the day and I felt like I didn't really participate. Yeah. <laughs> I was the yes. dad standing at the back doing this. Exactly. Like, I missed the song singing, I missed the candles blowing out, I missed the presents being opened because I was so infatuated by my, by my LCD display. Mm. Use this, single click for, for, for still frames, long press for video and, uh, and you can start to get back in the moment again. So. It'll do time That's lapse awesome. so we could stick one up in the corners here there and shoot ourselves over the day. I gave it to my four year old just to right. run around with and see what happens. Funniest stuff I've ever seen in my I've life. I've done exactly you get, you get the some same. Really great things. She yeah. was interviewing her, one of her stuffies, and I found it about. <laughs> oh. I found this interview with a stuffy about a week after it actually happened. It was very, very, very funny. So. That is awesome. How much is that? This is, is out in stores. Read? So it's been carried by AT and T, Verizon, T Mobile, Best Buy, and also available on HTC.com. Uh, the price right now is $199. We did some promos over over Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, really did some great volume with the product at, uh, at Best Buy spe specifically. So uh, so yeah, it's pretty competitively pretty, pretty competitively priced. Awesome. Uh, are you? What are you doing there, Phil? I'm just having fun watching myself. Are watch myself. This is real kind of it's self. Really weird. This is self obsession at, yeah, it's <laughs> at, at, the, at the max. I think. <laughs> I, I had mine with me at, at Christmas time. I've and, never and seen anybody do that. So he is a first. That we are in total inception here. We must yes. go deeper. Let's. Must, oh, how we about how about deeper. we go there? How about we turn around and go deeper over here? All right. Let's go this look, way. look, look. I think if we do how to, if we do this, it'll show up there. And if we no, hold on, no, we have wait. to do this. Maybe, I don't know. You, you <laughs> <reach around laughs> like, that way. How about that? We'll, we'll get it figured out. No, it, it's a lot of fun, especially when you start using the phone yes. as the display. It all syncs back here almost yep. automatically. You can you pick can and do choose what you want. Yeah. Everything live on here. There That's is awesome. a, I mean, there is resident storage on the device as well. So there's a micro SD card on here too. So you can do a couple of things. You can either use the app to set it up so that all your images come straight off here onto your phone. Uh, but actually the best way to use it, it'll fill up your memory you know, more quickly if you do that. The best way to use it is just stick a big big SD card in here, use this to, to view your gallery, which will connect over Wi-Fi, so I can see everything that's on this SD yes. card instantaneously on the phone anyway, so there's no real need for it to be on here too. And then if there's anything you do want to download because you want to noodle around with it or use some of the cool editing features that HTC's also got in their camera app, you can you can you can hit a, hit a download button on the app here. Photo comes over and then you can play around with it to your heart's content. There are awesome. accessories Thanks. for it as well. You're wearing one around your neck. I'm wearing yeah with this super super fat. I think it looks good. What do you think? <laughs> it I does. Mean, I'm it pops. Black today right. And I chose a brown leather. There you go. It pops. It pops. I'm not, I'm how not much sure I'll do the, that again. How much is that accessory? Uh, I have not seen the retail price of this. I believe that okay. this is a world first. That, oh. that this has been seen by anybody outside our uh, outside our design team. Nice. So so there you go. You had it here. Thank you so much, uh, Nigel, for coming on and showing us all the goodies. Uh, thank you guys for joining us each and every day here at CES. Uh, Phil, what are you doing? Nothing. Just talk to the people. Don't worry hi, about me. Hi, people. Oh, hi, people. Uh, I'm, I'm getting confused, but I am going to go talk to one of these cameras right now. You guys are going to stick with us because we have Yoda phone coming up next and more mobile goodness all day long. I'm Callie Lewis. That's Phil Nickinson. Bye.